<laughs> We're about to make seven unique personalized Father's Day gifts using our X tool, and we'll show you how we do it right now. What is up? A welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. And this week, I'm making my own Father's Day gifts. He is. <laughs> 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 we did, we're killing two birds with one stone here. It's a terrible, terrible expression, but that's kind of what we're doing here. So, so yeah. look at you. you it's a win-win here. Well, that, so. And I get to make the things that I would actually want as a gift for Father's Day. I told him to pick out all the designs and logos so that he would like them. What so. we're doing is making some Father's Day gifts. So we wanted to pull out our X-Tool D1 laser here and showcase some more of its capabilities. And we thought a great way to do that is some kind of last minute, it's really not last minute, you got a little time left. A little bit of time. Father's Day gifts. And we're gonna make it so that you can find these things anywhere. You don't have to special order them. You should be able to go out and get them. Yeah, just wander into a store, pick it up, come home, throw it under the laser, and uh, come up with something personalized from you to him. So our plan is to head to Ross and pick up a few items. Why Ross, you say? Because, have I told you before that Garrett can manifest items at Ross? It's his special power. If he thinks hard enough, the item is always there. And I'm yeah, talking like random, random items. Things. I'm not even joking, I've seen this in action. <laughs> Garrett's like, what do you want? I will manifest it and it I will do. be at Ross. But he only does this at Ross. But I don't know why. I can only why. do it at Ross. <laughs> I don't, it does not work at other stores. <laughs> You, you try it. Ross is like my giant magician's hat. <laughs> he can pull out. What are you looking for? He's going to whip it out of there. So it's coming out. We're going to go to Ross and Garrett's going to manifest us some Father's Day items. I do have a skateboard. Up. I have a skateboard that I want to engrave on, but we do need this here everything already else. Had. Let me, let me figure out what I need from Ross. We'll head to Ross. And we did need to make one more stop at Home Depot to pick up some cold galvanizing compound. You'll see what we'll use that for later. Project number one, leather wallet. Something new to put in my pocket right next to my pocket saw. Yeah, every dad needs a new wallet. Who doesn't need a new wallet? And to personalize it, I think it would be a great personalized gift. Yeah, I think we can take this $10 wallet and make it like a $50 wallet. Yeah, it comes in a little case and everything. This will be great. I just used the leather settings inside laser box, which was 50% power, 100 millimeters per second, and one pass. This only took like three minutes. Look, in like three minutes and 10 bucks, have myself a personalized wallet. Yeah, ace of spades. Yeah, That's what ace of is. spades. <laughs> It's my money. I love. Wait it's till my you, money wallet. Wait till you see all these logos he's picked out for himself. Well, they're very. Hey, it's, very it's like it's like my gambling wallet right here. Oh, yeah, there you it's go. That's where I put all my winnings. Yeah, there you go. That's a good one. Project number two, marble coasters. Again, these are like six bucks. These are real marble coasters. Look super manly. Super cool manly. A desk in a man cave. You know, maybe you go ahead and set a whiskey glass on there with uh, some rocks in it and whiskey and. I don't drink whiskey. What's well, your husband's logo? You can put any kind of logo. Oh yeah, any kind of logo. What kind of logo you got for this one? Surprisingly enough, not a skull. <laughs> so for this, we just follow the instructions on the X-Tool website where they told me the power and speed, which was 100% power, 200 millimeters per second. We did one pass, but this did take 57 minutes. It was a deep cut. Look pretty good though. I mean, looks classy. It looks like something I'd see in like a high-end restaurant or a hotel. Yeah, I mean, they do look cool. Yeah. Oh, these are just your initials. Boring. Yeah, these are my initials. Now nobody can steal my coasters. Yeah. GRV. Well, yeah. Somebody <laughs> might. <laughs> if anybody else has the initials GRV, you can steal my coasters. Otherwise, they look great. I'll know who did it. 
Yeah, these would be these would be nice. Yeah, like I said, nice sitting man around. Cave. You know, somebody's dad. I'm not gonna show these off, but somebody might go to set their drink on it and be like, "Whoa, Garrett's so fancy. He's got initials on his coasters." <laughs> Project number three, tumbler. This is actually like a stainless steel drink cozy. Yeah. It's supposed this, to keep your. Uh, I thought this drink was cold. a great one. So it's not your regular old beer koozie. It can be used for beer, but it can but, hold cans, I mean, yeah, a you bottle. Can, I think yeah. you can hide anything in that. Yeah, a bottle fits in there. Oh, yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. Let's see. I was trying to show some examples. Yeah, here you go. Your different beer cans, beer bottles, drinks cans, soda cans. Perfect little drink cooler. And we do need the rotary tool for this one because it's a cylinder, so. And then we just use the stainless steel settings, which are 100%, 12 millimeters per second. We did one pass. The tumbler took 48 minutes. That looks cool. Like I even left the shading in there, so it did it like. Uh, yeah, there's a shadow. It's got a little shadow. On his letters. name. Yeah. Garrett's whiskey. Garrett's whiskey. Ooh. That's right. Got your own whiskey. It's whiskey brand, themed. Did yeah. You? Got my own whiskey brand now. He's the, everything is so manly. Every one of these logos that he picked out is so manly. Well, you know, but I'm a man. It's, it's pretty cool. Now you can walk around with. Yeah. Now I can walk around and people will be like, "What's in there?" Now the kids can't. It's steal my whiskey. Your, Right. Your, your drink I definitely cooler. can't, oh yeah, my <laughs> drink cups are stolen every time. Like it doesn't last a week. Now I'll know, yeah. that is mine. That is mine, it says it's Literally my whiskey. It name on it. Project number four, an ax. Who doesn't need a personalized ax? This one was very funny at Ross. He walks up and he sees that, he goes, ooh, what about an ax? Ax. Yeah, what dad doesn't need a personal pocket-sized axe. Yeah, <laughs> this is the axe you can do some damage with. It's like a fighting axe. Does that thing come with, it does, a case? Okay, yeah, a little that's case. Good. That's good. Put it on my hip, well, grow. wander through the neighborhood with an axe on my hip. <laughs> you never know, you know. You know. Chop down a little <laughs> sprouted tree. <laughs> little tree no sprout. sapling is safe in my neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> it is kind of a cool, personalized, manly Father's Day gift. Yeah. Oh, is that survival cord? It's multi-tool. It's survival cord. It's a wrench. It's a bottle opener. And it's like a cutter. It cuts things. All Could right. even well, maybe what shave. Put, what are we putting on this? This one is also going to have my initials on it. <laughs> going to let everybody know it's mine. So for the axe, I tried 100% power, 70 millimeters per second. And I was using the settings for coated metal. And it just didn't look deep enough, so I ran it again. Two passes. Whole thing took 16 minutes. It looks okay, you know, it doesn't really pop. It doesn't pop like I thought it would. I thought it would get shiny like this blade. Yeah, it has some sort of like coating on it. Roughneck coating. Yeah. Yes, yes. But Kinda it did like go that, through the uh, coating. What's that spray coating oh, that you can put on stuff? That Rhino? Is it the Rhino spray? It looks like bed liner. It almost feels yes, like bed liner. Yes, yes. That's exactly what it feels like because you can't really tell from there. But it did it's go like through bed the bed liner to the metal. It just didn't make the metal shiny. Yeah. I don't know. But it it's okay. cool looking. It's cool looking. It's I'll still march over. around with it. I just won't be as <laughs> proud as if it were like sterling. Shining. Shining. You want to you want I need bleed. that bling. Yeah. People need to be like, whoa. <laughs> caught my eye. Project number five. The skateboard. That was one I'm actually excited about. I'm looking for a new little, uh, like something to hang in my office. Yeah, he doesn't really skateboard. He will get on one, I but can. that's not really his thing. His thing is thing. BMX, but. This is my he... cousin. It's like skateboarding is BMX cousin. Yes, yep, I'd say that yeah. for you, yes. They're tight cousins. If there's no other wheels around, he will ride a skateboard. <laughs> but he loves to hang them up in his office. He has another one that has his name on it. So. And this one's really about seeing if it can handle the waves, right. the contours. Right, can you hold that up right here so maybe they can see How many, like, uh, like completely this way. Oh yeah, there you go, that's a good one. Because there's, there's a little hump in the top here. Yep. It definitely moves this way. And it dips and around where the wheels would be. Flipping it over, this is definitely... Um, concave. Concave. 
Helps your feet stick to it. Always forget which is which. Concave. Concave is in, convex is out. Okay. <laughs> that one never sunk in. For the skateboard, uh, I just needed one set of risers and it worked out great. Then I used 75% power, 100 millimeters per second, one pass, and it looks amazing. I wanted to go bigger, but this took 81 minutes. When I went tip to tip, to the trucks, to the trucks, it was like 120 minutes. I don't have that kind of time. That's but two hours, yeah. It looks great. Yeah, the thing about this X-Tool is it engraves on so many different substrates. I think it's, I think it's strong suit is engraving. Yes, and but it's not always gonna be fast, but it sure does look good. There's yeah. a lot, a lot of detail. I mean, look at those skull teeth. Look at the wings, yeah. Each of the wings, the feathers. It looks great. I didn't even sharpen it. I should have sharpened it. It might have even looked better. Look at the shading on the banner there. Looks yeah, great. Yeah, I'm super impressed. Project number six, phone stand. Uh, I didn't get a phone stand. We're gonna make a phone stand. I didn't want to just engrave everything. I wanted to do something where I would cut too. So I'm gonna make myself a phone stand out of this eighth inch birch and uh, throw another logo on there. Not a skull. <laughs> For the eighth inch birch plywood, the cutting speed and power, I used 100% power two millimeters a second, it was a slow one, one pass. Then for the engraved, I used 85% power, 100 millimeters per second, one pass. And the whole phone stand only took 13 minutes to cut and engrave. It looks, it looks great. I mean, I picked a really small logo, but yeah, I was it looks say, good. For that one, that might be too detailed, too small for a small yeah, surface. Yeah, I went too detailed, too small. But it did it, but, and it looks cool. It's yeah, it just looks very cool. small on there. I like it. I'm totally going to use it. I love watching TV or my phone in bed, and I go to sleep to it every night. He does. And I hate trying to hold my phone because I drop it. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be perfect. Thank you, Garrett. Project number seven. I'm also excited about this project. We have some whiskey glasses. We're gonna try to engrave on whiskey glasses. These are great dad gifts. This is a good one with personalized with a logo or a name. I just think these yep. would look really cool. Here oh, are those little else? rocks that I was talking about oh, earlier. Oh, some stones. Mm -hmm. All right. It's already got Crown Royal on there. Etched We're just gonna on put there. something on the yeah. other side. Now you can etch on the other side. Yeah. How cool etch is that? Etch on the other side and it'll look like Crown Royal sent me my own glasses. That much, <laughs> that's how much I drink. <laughs> or slow down. You're a frequent flyer, huh? Yeah, frequent flyer. <laughs> <laughs> These glasses were only like eight bucks though. So, you That'd know, be a great personalized gift. glasses. So when you engrave on glass, you can't just engrave directly on the glass because it's clear and the laser beam will bounce around. What you'll need to do is coat the surface and this cold galvanizing compound will coat the glass so that the laser beam stops and will do the engraving. That's right. And like Garrett said, the heat where it stops. once it's done etching, you'll just use this lacquer thinner. It'll take the, the cold galvanizing compound right off and you'll be left with your etched glass. We're gonna place the glass open side down so we don't spray in it. We're gonna use some cold galvanizing compound, spray the front of the glass right where I'm going to engrave on it. For the glasses, I was having a difficult time getting them to get into and move around in the rotary attachment. I finally just gave up and I tried to get the glass as level as possible and find the flattest surface on the glass to engrave on. Now we use the stainless steel settings. That was 100% power, 12 millimeters per second, one pass, and again, it took 48 minutes. When we're done engraving, we're gonna use this lacquer thinner to wipe it off. It comes right off, no problem, no fuss, no muss. So it's not a quick one, but man, does that look good. I use the same whiskey logo. It looks so good. You can even see where the shadow is on the side. Yeah, this one is, so did you do something to, so why is this Garrett's whiskey darker than the... Oh, it's two uh, shades of gray. Two shades of gray? Yep. So the darker the shade, the darker it engraved yes. on the glass. Mm -hmm. The darker the gray, the closer it is to black, 
the hotter the uh, beam will be. Yeah, so he was able to get a variation in color on this as well. It looks, it looks really cool. It's the same thing I did with this one. It's got the two tones. Oh yeah, it's still yeah. Garrett's Whiskey. It is the exact same, same logo. logo. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, we, we accumulated a bunch of things. Yeah. You know, what is it? Let's me get rid of these. So what, what was your favorite project that we did? It's not the ax. The ax looks, eh, you can't tell until you get up on it. I think mine is either the whiskey glass or the skateboard. Cause uh, that's a big logo. I really great. like the wallet. I think the wallet is a really cool idea to engrave on that yeah, and then the give that, personalize good. that for dad. I think that's a great dad yeah, gift. Yeah, the wallet came out great too. This um, drink cooler, I think this is a great idea. This is a great Father's Day gift. Yeah, I, I think, think they were are, all great yeah. gifts. Yeah. Uh, the coasters, they impressed me how, how, uh, yeah, you can how really deep feel it that. went. You can mm -hmm. actually feel it. I enjoy that, that looks cool. I would be happy with any of these gifts or all of them, as the or case all may of be. them, since they are all my <laughs> gifts. Happy early Father's Day! Oh, thanks, <laughs> and happy Father's Day to any of our patrons who happen to be fathers. And big thanks to any of you guys who aren't fathers. Well, I guess thank you to the fathers too. They deserve a thanks. All fathers deserve a thanks. Go thank your dad. Give him a call, even though he's not going to answer. <laughs> text him. He might text you back in two or three days. You know, just let them know you're thinking about them. Choke them <laughs> up a little bit. <laughs> All right, well, we are about out of time. So if you're not going to join us on the Patreon After Show, we will see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. Oh, and don't forget about Test Cut Tuesdays. Yes. We have another Come Test Cut Come join us live Tuesdays up. at 4 p.m. where we're usually test cutting a new design and painting it for the first time. So. Yeah, last week, uh, we had to deal with a couple of issues during the test cut, but got them sorted out live. Live. <laughs> oh, I can balance the skateboard. I was gonna say, I don't oh. have anything to balance. You gotta, skateboard's easy. I've been balancing boards. Mean boards go way back. Ooh.